I have lived the first 44 years of my life in Birmingham. It's a big city in England. It was a great place to grow up. Four kids still are around England. I was always fascinated with taking things apart and trying to rebuild them. After high school, I trained to be a jeweler and I did that for 14 years. I could literally make you anything. I moved on to the construction industry where I learned carpentry and then all the aspects of you know, plumbing and electrics and stuff. But I just wanted to do something completely different and it just put another feather to my bow. I originally came to the United States to be with the woman I'm now married to. She's originally from California. We met online. I'm fortunate to be one of the success stories that she was the person who I was thinking I was meeting when I did come over. Uh, we spoke for about 12 months, 18 months, back and forth, and then I told her one day that I was coming over to see her, and she didn't believe me until I sent her the uh, screenshots of the air ticket to come over, and she got all excited, and it, that was the start of everything. You can find out a lot in 12 months about each other. We were both painfully honest, so by the time I did come over to meet her, I felt like I've always known her. 2014, when I moved over, I've been so settled here, I feel so much at home. My main difficulty is people understanding me because of my accent. <laughs> some people get it and they can understand me normal and some people just, they look at me blank like I'm speaking Swahili and I go, okay, well, I, mean, I, I can't help it. I was just born this way and I just grew bigger. I actually love how pleasant people are here, how welcoming they are. The majority of people who I've met have been lovely people and also the food's great over here. <laughs> I was um, sitting waiting for my wife to finish work one day and on the radio there was an advert for trucking. And I thought, oh, that would be a great way to see the country. And I get paid to do it as well. Thank you very much, sign me up. That was the best decision I ever made work-wise. I wish I'd done this job years ago. I actually like my own company. I can't annoy myself that much and I love the peace and quiet. I actually said to my wife that I would do over the road for a couple of years and maybe I'll come local but I've stayed over the road, I just I love driving all over. <laughs> I love Oregon because that reminds me a little bit of England with the greenery, Utah's a beautiful state, differences in all the different states, it's just like driving across Europe because every state feels like a different country almost, it's beautiful. I actually don't really feel like I'm that far away from anyone. The good old phone keeps me uh, in contact, which is great, uh, and having the headset on, so I can always speak with my wife. My kids in England, they Skype me, or a video call me on like WhatsApp or whatever, so I always feel connected. I've been a trainer for between 12 and 18 months. It's been a real good experience. I just love to pass what knowledge I do have in the short period of time I have been driving to a new driver so he doesn't have to struggle. I think as you go around the country and you go into these different terminals, you realise just how varied the driver pool is. Everywhere you go, there's somebody new who's going to give you a different perspective of their little patch of America. I'm like a big sponge talking to people and taking it all in. There's some lovely people who work for night. When I first thought about doing trucking, Knight was one of the first to reply to me. My a recruiter at the time, she was so amazingly helpful. That girl was like, on it. she came across as really professional. And then they helped me through the process of going through starting the orientation and now to this. And everybody who I've dealt with seems to step up to the plate and do exactly what you ask and need. Well, actually more can you want. That's why I try and do my job. Everybody else seems to be doing theirs, right? So I just want to be a part of the team.